We're here at the Adventist Believers Council. I'm Carmina Barnett and sitting down again with Pastor G. Craig Lewis. Pastor, how are you? Doing good, Carmina. Well, you know, it's that season again, time for a live recording. And if you've followed the ministry, you know, every time about this year, as it cl gets close to the Halloween season, you always uh, prepare something special to minister to the people of God. And this year, you chose to do something a little different because normally it is the truth behind hip hop. But today we're going to talk about what it's going to be this year. And I want you to talk a little bit about why God led you to go in this direction. But this year we're going to do the era of man part five. Why this direction, Pastor? Uh, well, most of the era man's actually all but one, um, this being the fifth, all but one uh, were extracted from the Truth Behind Hip Hop. So basically I'll do a Truth Behind Hip Hop when I'm preparing it mm -hmm. and it'll just be tons and tons of information, two days worth, interview, whatever we're doing, just a lot of stuff. And then there'll be uh, a portion of it that may be very scientific, biological, uh, those kinds of things, which, you know, I have some knowledge of. I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but probably a bootleg one or something. <laughs> but I have knowledge of those things, so I usually extract that from the research and stuff that I was doing during the Truth on Hip Hop. Okay. And so, you know, um, I'll apply those to the era of man. And so that's exactly what this is. This is really a continuation of part 14 of the Truth Behind Hip Hop Entity Complex. Uh, this, is, this was all a part of that. Gotcha. And I'm extracting it from that and adding some to it to just you know, make it flow and, and that's what I'll be presenting. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, before we talk about this year, how about we take it back? For those who may not know the history of Era of Man and let them kind of know what it has been prior. So I want to go all the way back to part one, because you said we're doing part five this year. Hmm? So, I'm going to test your memory. Uh, How well do you remember? Can you tell the people about part one, I Era of Man? I think I remember the years, too. Okay. Um, so the very first Era of Man was just called Era of Man. Mm -hmm. uh, that was shot in Canada, and that happens to be the largest crowd we've had, uh, 6,800, no, 6,500 people there very big event and caught everybody off guard because I think I lost, you know, 70 pounds or so. And I came out and everybody was like, who is this little boy coming out of here going to talk us, you know? <laughs> and, uh, but I remember it because I started talking about uh, population control. Now this is 2012. Okay. And I extracted Era Man from um, part s seven. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to check on that. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, God gave me that message about, you know, soy, estrogen intake, effeminizing our boys. I mean, this is way back before these things had really, we started really seeing them. You know, it, it's just, it blows my mind. I talked about you know, frogs, DNA being able to switch from male to female gender and how they were putting this stuff in foods and different things to make everyone, make all the men effeminate. And then the population control, I talked about Jacques Cousteau and all those guys who were a part of, you know, the elite organizations that wanted to limit the amount of people on earth. Um, you know, so that one went in depth, uh, you know, on those things. And it was just a shock because everyone that had come in Canada to hear me, they were expecting a <laughs> truth behind hip hop right. because I had just done part six mm -hmm. uh, there. Um, and uh, what was part, uh, part six? Uh, detained for entry. I just done that there the year prior. And so they invited me back expecting another one. And mm -hmm. then I show up with Era Man and everybody's like, what is he talking about? But man, it ended up being a big blessing because I was able to just really talk about things that are happening right now. Right. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. like, it's just crazy. You go back and watch it. Um, uh, you know, I covered a whole lot of things that are, that, that are happening in 2024. 
And I'm glad you brought out that point because it was so forward. It was way before, yeah. you know, they hear us talking about it now and they're like, well, yeah, that's no big deal. No, at that time, it was unheard of. Yeah. You know? So it was no just social media, mm -hmm. wasn't on, you know, wasn't, people weren't talking about it online and different things. We didn't have pandemics <laughs> and, you know, opportunities for mass vaccinations and stuff like that. None of that stuff was really, you know, all that was in the works. Uh, according to the message I preached, but it hadn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. So it was really a prophetic message, but it was it was really powerful. It was a very good video. So then there was part two. Mm -hmm. Part two, I'm taking you back again. What year was that? Ah, uh, that might have been 2013. Okay. Um, part two was Pharmacos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Aramand Pharmacos. Very, uh, so we went back to Canada <laughs> to shoot it. I mean, it was more people. It, it was so many people, I don't even think we got a count. It was just people everywhere. And it, we had it in a place where they couldn't be as situated, situated as well as they were in the prior videos. We didn't use the prayer palace. Again, it was another place, like a school or something like that, a, a gym, a auditorium, something. But it was thousands of people. And I was like, wow, this is a lot of people. So. I did Pharmacos. Pharmacos is the video that's based on my own testimony uh, about how, you know, everybody's like, how did he lose weight? How did I get, you know, uh, holistic health, all of that kind of stuff that I got into. Uh, so I, I was explaining it, the dangers in the foods and chemicals and different things in foods, uh, what we should be eating, sleep, exercise, rest, all of those things. And then, man, did a deep dive into alchemy mm -hmm. and the spiritual effects of alchemy and pharmacos, pharmacia and sorcery, all the stuff that's happened now. It's just so crazy how <laughs> I, God was just always a step ahead of what they're doing, but it, it was a blessing. That, yeah. that video was powerful that night. And then I get get to my hotel and the guy <laughs> that's with me, that, that um, he traveled with me everywhere, Chris, Chris Black, you know mm -hmm. Chris. And so he was um, producing video and he came, he knocked on my hotel door. I'll never forget it. I remember it like it's happening right now. He knocked on the door and I heard that knock. I knew it was a bad knock. It was like that knock on Dracula's door. Just <laughs> boom, boom. And I opened the door. I said, what happened? He said, they lost it. I said, they lost it? He said, yeah, they lost the whole recording. He said, it's the the hard drive's blank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still not happy. But, you but um, that, anyway. We learned from that <laughs> so that you were I, truly saved because you didn't cuss. I, 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 I was saved, yes. but there was nothing I can do. You know, that's a, that's when there's nothing you can do, mm -hmm. there's a feeling that comes over you. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, just, but oh, everybody just, don't get that part right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just went back to bed. I said, Lord, what are we going to do? And the Lord spoke to me and said, you have a church. Shoot it at your church. I said, God, we got, I think we had 80 members. I said, we got 80 people. And I just did this in front of, Lord said, do it at your church. Who cares? And so I, I shot it. I mean, the Lord didn't say who cares, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, so we shot it at the church with the, with the 80 people that were there. And, you know, I did the message and put it on the website and it did just very well. It mm -hmm. was the same message, same, you know, everything. And then all the people in Canada, and that was the blessing because there was so many people there that once we put it online, they all got it. Mm -hmm. And they began to spread it throughout Canada. And Canada was, I think, affected most by the alchemy and pharma, pharmacia and the different things that were going on, especially during the pandemic and stuff. So that video is still heavily in circulation out there so God knew what he was doing uh, but man I just had to you know um, eat that one so I, I'll never forget that knock that knock on the door it was a creepy knock. <laughs> but we had just you know we had spent all that money on everything and then to just lose it you know that's just human stuff so yeah all right so then we got to go to part three what year what city Part three was here. Mm -hmm. Part three was here, right when we got to this building, um, our current location in okay. Richland Hills, North Richland Hills. When we got here, 
I did emancipate, you know, I said emancipation. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Era Man 3, emasculation mm -hmm. proclamation. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, the emasculation proclamation. Mm -hmm. I did not do the emancipation <laughs> proclamation. Okay, I did not set us free. But the emasculation mm -hmm. Proclamation. We did it here, and it was all men. Mm -hmm. It was all men. Mm -hmm. We invited men, nothing but men. 300 men were here uh, for that. It was a beautiful sight to see because yes. we, we had them like in a circular pattern sitting down, and we shot that video. And, man, I just talked about how the devil is trying to emasculate men mm -hmm. and all the different ways that you know he's doing it and how it's going to affect women and how it's going to affect the future and I mean childbearing and I guess the biggest part of that was when I talked about the vasectomy mm. so that was the most controversial part mm -hmm. because folks weren't ready for that but we <laughs> I went in depth about it I went and got papers from 1940 doctors that far back talking about uh, the procedure and what it does to a man. I talk about the spiritual things, all of the things of what it does to a man is so deep. This video, I, you know, I, I test my videos out on my wife, mm -hmm. uh, who's right over there. Mm -hmm. She always listens to them, lets me run them by her first. This one, I was just in tears almost the whole time. I was, you remember that? <laughs> I was in tears because I could not believe that God gifted me with some of this information. Now, I had doctors telling me where did you get this? I did this message in, I think it was Arizona, somewhere out there, and a, and a bunch of doctors came. Mm -hmm. And so doctors started asking me, like, where did you get this research? Where did you get this? And I told them, like, you, you just can't tell a doctor. The Lord told me. <laughs> but the Lord did tell me. Wow. Then I, I just went back far enough to prove it with the research. And it was beautiful to see all of the men. And as you're watching us, I just want to encourage you to know if any of these are touching your heart and you think it's something that you would like to have, they are available. You can go to the website. It's exministries.com. That is exministries.com. So now let's talk about part four. Mm -hmm. Part four, mm -hmm. destination entropy. Yes. That's, I, I remember that because that's fresh. That was a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, that information was extracted from the Truth Behind Hip Hop 13. Okay. Um, some of it. And it ended up going somewhere that I wasn't planning on it, but man, that's one of my favorite messages I've ever preached. Oh, okay. um, yeah, it was, that was, oh gosh. That was fun, I felt like the Lord really loved me. You know, that's how I feel. I feel like he loves me when he gives me stuff, stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. and that's the one where I, I, I think I talked about uh, things that are being put in, injected in people's bodies and different things, uh, our blood. And then I talk, oh, yeah, oh, the time, the time piece, God's time, understanding time. That's what destination entropy really is, is explaining the universe and the time and God, how he sees and views time and how that affects us and, ooh, yeah, that's a good one. And then the superhero <laughs> stuff in it, oh man, that, the Marvel and DC mm -hmm. comic stuff was, yeah, that was a good video. <laughs> <laughs> if I might say so much, can I say that? You can say Oh, that. it was good. You need to see that. That's a, and it's really, really deep, um, but it's, it, it was, that, that was a great night. We shot that in, here at Hearst, mm -hmm. Texas, mm -hmm. at the Hearst Convention Center. And it was during, right after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And that place held, I think, 1,300 people. I didn't think nobody was coming because everybody was still masking <laughs> up and social distancing and all of that. And it was full. It was full, no masks, no social distancing, just yeah. everybody. Praising God. Praising God. Mm -hmm. I think our youth, did our youth choir sing? Yes. Our youth choir <laughs> performed. Man, that was a great day, because we used it for our Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was Destination Entropy. Uh, definitely need to check that one out. Absolutely. So here we are. We're at part five, which is happening in what, a month? 
A month. A month is going to be happening October 26th, going to be at the Trinity Church there in Cedar Hill, Texas. Yep. Tell us now, first of all, we got to make sure they've seen the trailer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the trailer is phenomenal. <laughs> But talk about it, Pastor. Let them know what, what God has had you preparing. Hmm. Well, um, you know, the aliens, aliens, uh, aliens, I'm talking about aliens, <laughs> <laughs> the beast, uh, Antichrist, the lineage, you know, I guess I say this, you know, we God was so specific in picking a uh, group of people to bring forth the lineage of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that genealogy is spoken of throughout the Bible. You know, some, some um, chapters start off, or some uh, books of the Bible start off giving the genealogy up until then, mm -hmm. the male genealogy. It's always the male genealogy. There's a reason for that. I'll explain that in the video. It's a lot. But it's always the males. They talk about this one begat this one and all of that. Right. But nobody talks about the genealogy of the Antichrist. The Antichrist mm -hmm. is going to be, that's a copy of what Christ does. It's a counterfeit. So he's got his way of bringing forth what he's bringing forth, Apollo or whatever you want to call him, you know, uh, Apollyon or uh, just the son of Zeus, son of Satan, all of that, same thing. But this, whatever it is, human, humanoid, AI, bot, just whatever it is that's going to try to control humanity has a genealogy. And so I'm going to talk about that um, and, you know, how that's uh, probably going to come to be. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about AI and, you know, all of the ways that the enemy is bringing about his plan and his agenda and the bloodlines he's using and the people he uses and you know why they're fighting in Iran I mean in uh, Russia now why our presidential candidates are so weird I mean just all of it it's all <laughs> gonna you know come to the if I can put it together good enough it's gonna all come to the <laughs> conclusion you know of the that they're all beast delusions and that's what I want to show the strong delusion uh, that our world is under uh, is on purpose you know to bring forth the uh, the beast Wow wow so October 26 is gonna be happening it's happening there at the Trinity Church and two things I want to touch on because I think they are so key uh, number one it's free it's free. It's free. It's open to those who, who want to bring their families, want to bring their youth, men, whatever the case, it's, it's free. And that's so rare in a time like this. When people have a, a conference or a convention or a recording of this manner, there's always a ticket at the door. And you've always not done that. Talk about that. Well, I try to, you know, um, I've always wanted people to just be able to come. I enjoy the company of people. I like seeing the people there and I like, you know me, like I am here I, uh, after service. I'm in the crowd. I'm with everybody. I'm in He's the front. He's a security just, nightmare, Saints. Well, security nightmare. That's all right. They know to give me space <laughs> because I just want to be with people like Jesus was. I right. saw, you know, I read mm -hmm. about him doing that, mm -hmm. and that's that's what I like to do. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've always wanted people to come. We do charge for the videos and all that, so just get over that. You paying for every <laughs> other aspect of your digital life, and they just... <laughs> When it comes to the video, that should be free. And I, you know, as if YouTube is free and all that. I don't even want to get in that discussion, but I don't upload these Era Man's Truth Behind Hip Hops. I don't upload them because 
I mean, I don't even know if I can put this this interview on what, the things I've said already. I mean, it's just the interview. I mean, how can I say this without YouTube striking my channel? And so I don't want to go through all of that. So just, you know, take your, take your little money that you would normally spend to go see, uh, you know, a, a, a movie <laughs> and get the DVD. It'll bless you. And then, and not D, I need to quit saying DVD, digital download. There you go. We do have DVDs. Though. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want DVDs because they don't trust streaming yeah. because streaming was created uh, for editing mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. so all the movies that you used to watch back in the day you watch them now things are being taken out of them yeah. and if it's streaming and you don't have a hard copy they can pretty much change the whole movie on you and uh, that's what they're doing now I know Disney's doing a lot of it you yeah. know everything's woke now so you got to take out the part that hurt this guy's feelings this group's feelings this one didn't like it and oh, it made me feel bad and so you just wrecking all the old movies we grew up with you know what I'm saying just <laughs> Tom and Jerry man we grew up on Tom and Jerry that yeah. made us tough yeah watching Tom and Jerry as <laughs> racist as that was we was laughing we I mean big mama running after Tom and yelling and we and, but but we grew up, you know, that made us, I mean, we were tough. We, didn't, we weren't offended by that. That's a cartoon. Right. And it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. I went looking for the Tom and Jerry's because I wanted the old ones. I need the ones with the black lady in them. I'm sorry. So I had to go on eBay and buy them. And it was, <laughs> so I had to get the Japanese, no, it's Chinese Buddha. It was Buddha video. And I had to order them from Buddha. I had to get the Tommy Jerry for Buddha. <laughs> okay. But I got all the discs. It was like 50 discs. I was like, how did they even think of all this stuff? And some of it is kind of racial, but man, it's funny, man. We laugh at that. We didn't take it personally. Yeah. You know, we knew our, our cat and mouse wasn't talking and fighting. I mean, it's a cartoon. <laughs> okay, let me stop. And if grandmama saw a mouse, it was a different outcome. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to talk and run just like that woman in the cartoon. <laughs> she was out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back. Come back. The other thing I want you to talk a little bit about is, Pastor, you get put in such a box. They think the only thing you talk about is music. The only thing you talk about is hip-hop. I know people, they find out that I'm a part of the ministry, and it's like, do he be talking about this on Sunday? I'm like, no. And so I think with this, I'm glad we have this opportunity to talk to, help them understand you are a well-rounded preacher. Every week we get something to impact our lives. It's so much more than just the truth behind hip-hop. Yeah, and even the truth behind hip-hop is more than the truth behind hip-hop. I mean, you're talking about the truth behind hip-hop. I've talked an hour and a half before I even mentioned hip-hop. <laughs> and so all of the stuff that we're seeing now, I mean, I, you know, and this is not bragging or arrogant statement, mm -hmm. but I, everything that's happening now was predicted in these videos. It, it just was. Mm -hmm. And it's way more than music. You know, I talked about these things way back in the day, CERN and... I remember when I first talked about CERN, it was 2011. And right after I had talked about CERN, uh, a week later, 60 Minutes ran a thing about it. And I had already talked about it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so God is like, has always given us, thing, given me things to talk about years before they actually develop and, and begin to happen. It's almost like we, we know. So we at, at ABC, we're just well prepared for what, whatever's coming because mm -hmm. God has always prophetically led us uh, ahead of whatever was, whatever was coming. So yeah, the Truth Pond Hip Hop is more than the Truth Pond Hip Hop. That's the name of it because that's how it started. Mm -hmm. But the videos uh, outside of the first one, the videos are way more in depth and they cover a lot of things that are happening right now. Exactly. And even frequency, I'll say this because I did part eight, uh, Lords of Discord, um, that was 2013, I think, 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. I shot that video and I dealt with frequencies and I t dealt with, you know, the quantum use of frequencies and all that and how it all derived from Cain and his lineage and the monarchs and all that, just bloodlines, all of that. And then it went into, you know, how 
frequency turns into uh, how sound turns into light after so many uh, octaves and all of that. And now, you know, my doctor, she, she, she just used that technology to diagnose me from Atlanta. She's in Atlanta and she used that quantum, but that's how she met me. She was coming, I didn't even know her, but she was coming to the events because she heard me talking about frequencies and different things and she was intrigued as a doctor mm -hmm. and she was like wow and now 10 maybe 12 13 years later she's using that technology technology that I talked about and I talked about that in a truth behind hip-hop so the truth behind hip-hop is just way more information than just hip-hop and then on Sundays and like you're saying I, I just I, I try to feed God's people with what we need what I need you know, I tell them sometimes, I tell the members, I say, hey, this is for me. I'm preaching now. If it help you, good, but I'm preaching to myself today. Yeah. And it's what we need right now in this time because things are so uncertain and wild and, you know, whatever the case. So, uh, yeah, it's way more than a hip-hop message. And, for, and we have music here, too. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I had a, a world-renowned producer who, mm -hmm. you know, he comes and visits a lot. And he was telling me, he said, man, I tell people, yeah, I come visit your church. And people's like... Uh, does he have music? Does he have music? <laughs> I thought he didn't like music. I thought he was against music. I said, Folks make up stuff so that people won't listen to it. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's all that is because mm -hmm. we have a huge band and albums and mm -hmm. production. We got a recording studio and all that. So we do all of that here. We do originals on Sundays. Um, we just, you know, we have a good time with the music part. So yeah, this it, it's way more than Beyonce, Jay Z, and Diddy. <laughs> well, you are invited to join us. It's going to be happening October twenty sixth, happening at the Trinity Church there in Cedar Hill. Go to the website. Go to exministries.com. They can also follow you on Instagram. Instagram at exministries. Mm -hmm. So definitely be a part of it. We look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>